I decided instead to do a roast of like the concept of an open mic night. <laughs> Good, so hey, let's keep in mind that this controls all of the speakers and the volume of everything. So just, uh, keep it appropriate. Yeah, just, it'll okay. Be, it'll okay. Oh. No, not really. I just <laughs> Now we have Okay. Well, I don't want to say. Yeah, I think. Put them Okay. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my god, I can't speak. Okay. Um, so, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to the music program's open mic night. Or, as I like to call it, a bunch of attention-hungry teenagers with quarterly night of validation. I should probably, uh, well, I already, okay, like, this whole thing, like, I've kind of been thrown off by this. I had stuff about how I had no talent in this and how I wasn't going to play music, but, like, y'all already did that, so I'm just going to skip this part of my day. Um, <laughs> So, but, um, so I was told actually that like any performance that was here like had to have some sort of like musical component. So my lovely sister Hannah will be playing Bohemian Rhapsody on the kazoo while I do this. Okay, you go. Bro. Okay, so. I, for one, find issue with the fact that we have to do this to like perform a stand-up thing because I think that much like the school that's performed in, these open mic nights kind of need some good old-fashioned diversity because I think we can all agree that most of the songs here can be categorized into two or so groups. There's the emo song and then there's the instrumental stuff everyone just kind of sits through. So, I'll start with the email song. The email song is typically performed by like a guy who's like 15 or 16 or so, and it's built entirely by hormones and like an unholy amount of things. I thought we were gonna give her a mic. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, hormones and eggs. Do the emo's performers. And like most emo males, this Hanks began around 7th grade when he was falsely accused of being a homosexual. <laughs> I can make that joke and by now I think most of you have guessed why. <laughs> and so yeah, when for whatever reason the emo male singer believes that singing about his feelings in front of a room full of his peers will somehow not add fuel to that plane. <laughs> Okay, wait, I lost my page. Hold on. Um, okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Um, so, the audience of the Open Mind Night is suggested to these hormones and this angst by a guitar and a voice that isn't quite yet free from the cruel clutches of puberty. <laughs> and the instrumental stuff, I mentioned it before. I know I said that it was a sub everyone sits through, but it provides a vital service, you know? Like, it makes us feel smart, you know? Like, you get that? Like, it doesn't really mean anything, but it makes us feel smart, you know? Wait, crap. God damn it, I'm bad at this. Um, I'm sorry! Um, so, you know, I have a message for you instrumental players. You keep doing what you're doing. Make us feel smart. Because as long as our ears don't physically start bleeding, we're just gonna kind of assume that you did a good job. So like, you go out there and you get them. <laughs> so like, I have nothing more to say, and this is my end of my little half-hearted analysis of the night's performances. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that I received enough extra credit for coming here to make up for the theory desk that I bombed today. <laughs> Thank you.